Recently, while surfing through YouTube, I ran across a, well, what some people call an earth battery or a water battery. This one's more like a water battery because these two ice trays here have nothing but just tap water that's been run through a filter. And I don't know if you can see it, but the water level isn't even but half full in each one of those little cubicles there. And um, what people were using was zinc and copper. And so I thought, hmm, what do I have around here that's zinc coated? And so I went down to the shed and I picked up some of these these zinc staples that we use for barbed wire fencing. It's zinc coated. And you notice because of the way it's shaped here that it's kind of advantageous for the bottom of an ice cube tray as it would kind of sit down there really nice if you made it into kind of like a saddle with your with your copper. Uh, then what I did is I took a piece of wire like this uh, solid, solid wire and uh, strip a section off here like so. I just use an X-Acto knife get that sheathing off there come on there we go okay get a little bit of that copper exposed and oh cut off maybe two two and a half inches okay now we've got a two and a half oh two two and a half inch piece of copper solid wire. We just bend that in the shape of that staple. Like so. See there? It's real easy. And then I stripped another wire that had several strands in it. I don't have too many left out of it. But this is the stranded wire of course, copper. We take one of those little strands out of there and I like this because it's so it's so flexible and easy to, to work with. And you take your little staple and grab it with your thumb here. Run about oh seven or eight winds around there. Okay, leave enough for your copper. Take your copper, keep it about oh, oh about a quarter inch away, maybe less. Not too too tight. And wrap the rest of your wire around that lead. And you're going to need to make about 28 of these total. Now notice I can bend that like this. So I can adjust it. And then that makes sort of like a little saddle here. So that it can... Uh, uh, so that it can rest across the ice cube tray. And that way, only the zinc is in one side and the copper is in the other and then you do uh, so each well has to have one zinc one copper in it and these two where they saddle together need to be tied together but you don't want any copper touching your water just the zinc on the zinc side and then you put your, your 14 on one cell 14 on the other and at the ends here will be the will be your end sections. At the other end you're going to do it this way so that you can straddle it and keep the cell going in series on both of, them, both of the cells. And then what I did is I tied these two cells then in parallel so that the amperage would uh, would double but the voltage would stay, stay the same or an average between the two. Now, when we unplug the, the, the LED lights here, we unplug it, the voltage will be, well, it says six points, now it's seven. It's going up. It'll go up to about nine, nine point nine volts. Uh, there's eight. It's climbing. But it'll get up to about 9.9 .9 volts, and as soon as I plug these LED lights in, the two jumbo red ones here, 
the voltage will, will drop down to 1.5. Now I'm kind of puzzled about that. That uh, That's about the voltage that the LEDs need to run on. So this is a very, very low power system, but but uh, nonetheless it lights two jumbo LEDs with nothing but water and a few zinc staples and some copper. So I'm sort of impressed by that. I didn't, uh, I was a little skeptical. I didn't think that would work. Uh, is this perpetual motion? Well, there's nothing in motion here, but uh, and even if you did tie a little motor to it, you might have to put more cells in series or in parallel rather to get a motor to run on it to get enough juice to do that. But uh, if the motor ever broke, I guess it wouldn't be perpetual motion. Is it free energy? Well, nothing's free, I guess, because there's always the investment of what it costs you to make the device. Uh, divide it over the amount of energy that you get out of it and the life of the, the unit. So I guess it really isn't free energy either. But it is quite intriguing nonetheless. So anyway, let's plug this back in here and hopefully you can see the, the jumbo LEDs here. Let me see if I can get that kind of flashing in the camera. You can see them on. Let me turn off the light here a second. There. You can see that, I'm sure. I am the camera lens here. Now it's not super bright, but it's still lit nonetheless. So I'm kind of impressed by that. Put this light back on. 